I am waiting for it to bolt up. Hello all and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Bless Lord thou, don't only really new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to gross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please let Donai Elohim sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Donai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Donai Elohim, king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Donai, giver of the Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence to unite me and may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Isaiah 43, 21 through 44, 23. The people whom I formed for myself that they might declare my praise. Yet you did not call upon me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me your sheep for burnt offerings or honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings or wearied you with frankincense. You have not brought me sweet cane with money, or satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices. But you have burdened me with your sins, and you have wearied me with your iniquities. I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance, let us argue together, set forth your case that you may be proved right. Your first father sinned, and your mediators transgressed against me. Therefore I will profane the princes of the sanctuary, and deliver Jacob to utter destruction, and Israel to reviling. But hear now, O Jacob, my servant Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says Yahuwah, who made you, who formed you from the womb, and will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. Jerohun, uh, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on a thirsty land, and streams on a dry ground. I will pour out my spirit upon the offspring, and my blessing upon your descendants. They will bring, they shall spring up among the grass like willows by flowing streams. This one will say, I am Yahweh's. Another one will call on the name of Jacob, and another will write on his hand, Yahweh, and name himself by the name of Israel. Thus says Yahweh, the King of Israel, and his re Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let him proclaim it. Let him declare and set it before me, since I appointed an ancient people. Let them declare what is to come, and what will happen. Fear not, not be af nor be afraid. Have I not told you from of old and declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there an Elohim besides me? There is no rock. I know not any. All who fashion idols are nothing, and the things they delight in do not profit. Their witnesses neither see nor know what they might be put to shame that they might be put to shame. Who fashions a god or, or casts an idol that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his companions shall be put to shame, and the craftsmen are only human. Let them all assemble, let them stand forth. They shall be terrified that they, sh sh they shall be put to shame together. The ironsmith makes, takes a cutting tool and works it over the coals. He fashions it with hammers and works it with a strong arm. He becomes hungry, and his strength fails. He drinks no water and is faint. The carpenter stretches a line. He marks it out with a pencil. He, sh he shapes it with planes and marks it with a compass. He shapes it into a figure of a man, with the beauty of a man, to dwell in a house. He, cast he cuts down cedars, or he chooses a cypress or an oak and lets it grow strong among the trees of a forest. He plants a cedar and the rain nourishes it. Then it becomes fuel for a man. He takes a part of it and warms himself. He kindles a fire and bakes bread. Also, he makes a god and worships it. He makes an idol and he falls down before it. Half of, half of it he burns on the fire, the other half he eats. He roasts it and is satisfied. Also, he warms himself and says, Aha, I am warm. 
I have seen the fire and the rest of it he makes into God, his idol, and falls down and worships it. He prays to it and says, Deliver me, for you are my God. They know not, nor do they discern. For he has shut their eyes, so that they cannot see in their hearts, that they cannot understand. No one considers, nor is there knowledge or discernment to say, Half of it I burnt in the fire. I also baked bread on its coals. I roasted meat and have eaten. And shall I make the rest of it an abomination? Shall I fall down before a block of wood? He feeds on ashes. A deluded heart has led him astray. And he cannot deliver himself or say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? Oops. Remember these things, O Jacob, in Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you. You are my servant, O Israel. You will not be forgotten by me. I blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sin like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, O heaven, for Yahweh has done it. Shout, O depths of the sea. Bring forth a new singing, O mountains, O Israels, and every tree in it. For Yahweh has redeemed Jacob and will be glorified in Israel. Blessed art thou, Donai, the new king of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth and said everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, give her the Torah, Brukata, Donai, the new Malakalo, Mashana, Tala, Nutra, Eddie, Met, Vaishi, Alumna, Tabetta, Kinu, Brukata, Donai, and Atina, Tara.